All right, there she goes. Go get him, Tiger. I already heard back from one of my blood work what numbers. Your blood work? What? Your blood work called you? My blood work called me today. Good morning, guys. Got up early. <laughs> we, I've been talking to my team the last few days about how I've been feeling this kind of like new strange fatigue feeling. That is not why I'm groggy this morning. That's just the morning. But at certain parts of the day for a few hours, most days, um, I'm having this strange fatigue thing. And they, I have an appointment in a few days. And so they wanted to get some blood work so that they could see the lab results before my appointment. It's a telemed appointment, so I won't be at the hospital in, the f in a few days. But anyway, I'm getting some labs. They ordered, they wanna check my thyroid and a few other things, and I am gonna go get that blood work. And then we'll go home, and then I'll have coffee, and then we'll say good morning, more chipper. <laughs> All right, there she goes. Go get him, Tiger. Oh, it is hot. But yeah. I still think this is a fine idea. She puts the red coat on and then takes it off when she gets back in. So that the part that's rubbing on the chair. Good job. Because I I was thinking like, oh, I could just wash the sweatshirt when I get home. And I was like, uh-uh. I don't want to take this thing off. <laughs> this zipper has been funky since the day we arrived in Scotland. And I put this red. Really? Oh, yeah. That's funny. Because I remember we were getting ready to take the picture. Our friends were going to take the picture of us in front of our door. Yeah. And I think I was trying to like get it zipped up. Like, uh. Ah, ah. Uh. Mary's standing outside the place waiting to get like, they have like a sickness screening station. She just texted me and said she feels kind of weird wearing a rain jacket on a sunny hot day. It does look a little strange. Right, you want to tell us what we got going on? Well, our BLTs last night were so delicious and summery that we decided to make them again, but this time with avocado. And we melted the cheese on the bread, which is delicious. And we, I'm having some crab meat on the side. We had some crab meat on a plate dipped in Old Bay last night. Mm. So good, just cold, just like, ah, and both of us, said it feels like we're transported back to the house that was his grandmother's now his mom owns it um on the eastern shore of maryland it just like if you close your eyes and you're eating the cold crab dipped in the mm -hmm. powder out on the deck it yeah. feels like you're like transported out to where you're sitting out on the deck and flies are eating you <laughs> This is completely random. I just came over to the table to clear off the table. And I tried these with my, I ordered them in my last um, Aldi order. They're really good. Have you tried them yet? I haven't. Really good. I just dipped them in some hummus and delicious. I already heard back from one of my blood work what numbers. Your blood work? What? Your blood work called you? My blood work called me today. Um, my liver doctor already looked at my liver numbers and they look good for now. I'm trying to remember, did I tell you guys about the ursodile? I... I don't my liver doctor remember. decided to bring me to do like a, a trial. Yeah, we talked about this. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know that we talked about the trial aspect of it. We're so, gonna try it for a month. Yeah, we're gonna try it for a month and do labs again. And she said, she said three to four weeks, we're gonna do them again and just make sure. Ollie? So anyway, so far um, my liver is doing well. In general, that was the panel that came back so far. But um, the other thing I wanted to like, I'm, I'm kind of doing this for my own records. records. This is like Mary's medical journal right now. Yes, and if you want to come along, welcome. So you guys know I've been doing the subcutaneous immunoglobulin therapy. This was the fifth week and each week has been like a trial and error, as are a lot of things when you do new medical stuff. 
This time, the pharmacist recommended that I do three needles instead of two. And the reason for that is it's 40 cc's of immunoglobulin liquid. And if you disperse it over three needles, so three sites, maybe your subcutaneous tissue can absorb it better because it's less fluid in each spot. So I did that last night. I did one needle in my leg and two in my sides. No needles leaked this time. Who knows what happened last time, but anyway, no leakage. I ended up having to stop my leg one earlier than the rest. I don't know if I told you that. It was like getting a, it was getting like red and hard and that's pretty normal, but also I decided to just stop it and let the rest of it go into my sides. Anyway, there's my record keeping for today. Um, we'll just keep trying. And the other thing that the pharmacy tech sent was a different, uh, rate of tubing. I used the normal one last night and then she was like, yeah, try the other one that I sent at some point and let me know what you think and that sort of thing. So more trial and error. Have you, oh, sorry. Have you talked to the immunology doctor about like what the timing is of eventually, I think the hope is that we'd space it out more than weekly or yeah. like not more than weekly, but like Less frequently. Less frequent. So tw so every other week? Yeah. Isn't that what she said? I forget. Bi is bi-weekly? Is bi -weekly? bi monthly What? Bi-monthly? I, I think it might be bi-weekly. Oh, I never know if bi-weekly is like twice a week or every other week. Either way, <laughs> she mentioned it to us, but that was like in the- Initial in the conversations. What's the word? Like it was when it was- Hypothetical. Hypothetical. So we like to finish each other's sentences. Guys, my hair is, I, I've been wearing a hat all day. So and then I took my hat off and it got all poofy. And now <laughs> I, I don't, <coughs> it's moments like this where I'm like, okay, I need to cut my hair. But other moments, like I'm really enjoying having long hair. So I guess just enjoy it. Okay, soak it up. And so that's your update from the fry life today. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night, night. y'all. Hey, Ollie. Wanna say good night? Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll come back tomorrow because we have a big surprise. <laughs>